Hello, I'm Commissioner Zoe, your Police, Fire and Crime Commissioner. It's my job to gather your views and set the direction of North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service to make sure our communities get the services we need to help us to be safe and feel safe in North Yorkshire and the City of York. I'm currently considering proposals for the Fire Service's new Risk and Resource Model, which sets how the service will seek to deploy its people, equipment and resources. I'd like your views on the proposals before I make my decision on whether to implement them. It's important to know that your Fire and Rescue Service has undertaken a thorough assessment of risk in our area. This looks at what our geography, demography, infrastructure, society and economy mean for how likely it is that an emergency incident will happen and how severe it is likely to be if it does. In our area, the risk of having a fire in your home is generally low, with pockets of higher risk in some urban areas and the southeast of the county. In fact, other emergencies, such as collisions on our roads or rescues from water during storms and floods, make up a larger proportion of what our service responds to. Based on this evidence, your fire and rescue service has put forward proposals that it feels will ensure that it has the right people with the right equipment in the right place at the right time to reduce the risk of harm in our communities. If the service has to respond to an emergency, then it is likely this harm may have already happened. The best approach is to prevent emergencies from happening in the first place, which you told me should be a key priority during my fire and rescue plan consultation last year. To achieve this, we want to increase our prevention and protection staff and the amount of prevention and protection work all our firefighters do to make you your home and your community safer. To do this, we would need to change some of the ways we work. Nearly half of our incidents are false alarms, mostly from automatic fire alarms. So we propose to reduce our response to low risk automatic fire alarms during the day, at premises where people do not sleep, to give our crews more time to deliver prevention work. We also propose to change the times of our firefighters' shifts to match demand and maximise the time they have available during the day for prevention and protection work and introduce self-rostering duty systems across all our full-time fire stations to help create a more modern and flexible work environment. To increase prevention, we would also need to realign some of our resources to match our risks. In the York area, the risk assessment has shown that we currently have more emergency response resource than is needed for the risk and demand. So, we propose to change Huntington Fire Station from a full-time to an on-call fire station. We would keep the on-call fire engine and remove the full-time engine, redeploying the full-time firefighters to other stations or roles, including prevention roles. The Encore fire engine plus the full-time fire engines at Acom and York would continue to provide the emergency response cover the area needs. In Harrogate and Scarborough, we propose to increase our ability to respond to any emergency during the time when emergencies are most likely to happen. Alongside the full-time fire engine, which would continue to respond 24 hours per day, we would swap the tactical response fire engines at each station, which are available day and night, but can only respond to certain emergencies, with emergency rescue fire engines, which can respond to all emergencies. These would be crewed during the day only, which is when most emergencies happen. We would redeploy a small number of full-time firefighters from each station to other stations or roles, including prevention roles. When assessing our risk, we realised we didn't have the right resources in Craven to respond to the water rescues. We propose to introduce a new specialist water rescue capability by training and equipping our on-call firefighters at Skipton to enter fast-flowing water to rescue people and save lives. Finally, we propose to introduce emergency response principles to make it clearer what you can expect when you call us in an emergency. Implementing these proposals would mean we can deliver another of your key priorities from my Fire and Rescue Plan consultation. 
improving the availability of our on-call fire engines. What we are proposing would mean we can invest over £1.5 million per year from 2025 to improve our on-call station availability. I'm confident that these proposals are right for North Yorkshire and York and would deliver the best service possible for you. But before I make my decision on whether to implement them, I want to know what you, the people of North Yorkshire and York, think of them. My consultation is open for 12 weeks and it's important that you have your say. You can find more information on my website. Please visit www.tellcommissionerzoe.co.uk and complete the survey to tell me what you think. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.